Winchester. What's up, everybody? Back with another Herbal Reactions. Of course, man, it's been a minute since we watched uh, Winchester. That's what we're about to watch. Uh, yeah, I took a little sabbatical, you know, just a little small one. It was just the editing and getting up and doing that. Got a little tiring, you know, I had to take a little, you know, take my time. But, um, you know, I'm back. I'm not going to leave. I just needed a little sabbatical. <laughs> But yeah, let's just hop into this, and we're on episode 9. I was about to say 8. We're on 9. Are we on 9? Well, now we're on the right our episode. Pour me some of that, would you? And remind me when this kid would wait till the morning. I'm gonna need a Woodson back in a hurry, I guess. Just a time and a half. Damn. Dispatch. Get an ambulance down here. Fuck. I feel like they're demons. No pulse! Body's cold. Oh, vampire. Yep. So what y'all in here for? of letters thing Where's the amulet? The amulet. Not here. This will help us find it. Okay, okay. Alrighty then. You just sank. It's a nice car. Yeah. He's gotta be Mineletus, right? No, he doesn't dress like one. He looks more like a hunter to me. It's not a bad looking one either. <laughs> I should have followed him. He said my name and handed me a letter from my dad, and I just I blinked, you know? Okay, whoever he is, we're not going to figure that out right now. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until that moment comes up. Oh, well, not that this moment, but I love it. I love it. Kyle. Who the fuck is Kyle? Hi. Good morning. And John, this is Kyle, my reporter friend. I remember Kyle. Nah, I can't wait to see uh, Dean and them uh, interact with each other. Hey, Scoop, though. Guess this explains why you've been slow to call me back. Kyle, I'm so sorry. Please. All's fair in love and war. I'll let you do get back to it. Nice to meet you, John. All is fair in love and war. Omega Man? Lata told me. She keeps no secrets, that one. It was just one date. Well, in that case, I think he took it pretty well. <laughs> Maybe Carlos and Lata would, too. Well, don't get me wrong. I, I love my morning dates, I do. Mm -hmm. but it just feels like we're sneaking around. And if you're okay with 
Omega Man knowing about us? Or we're not our friends? Because they're not just our friends. They're your family. Office romances can mess up a work dynamic. No. And it's one thing if we're selling cars or whatever, but another when the stakes are life and death. So I want to want to keep things simple, you know? In the moment. In the moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love y'all dynamic. I'm gonna just say it. I love it. Copy. Carlos found a case. Vampire. Well, then I will help it back to the clubhouse and pull all of the vampire lore I can find. That way they won't know we're together. Keeps between us, right? Disculpeme, señor. Las personas con las que estaba hablando no puede decir quién eran. Vampire bank robbers. It's got to be a new one. Where are we exactly? Under the morgue. How much time have you spent alone down here, Lata? Right. Weeks, actually. I've been trying to do a full inventory on what we have, and it has been a challenge. The wiring is subpar from another era, and I think it's being nibbled on by my mortal enemies. Rats. Rats. I haven't spotted any, but I think it might be time to get a clubhouse scout. Come. We might need a few. The lockers in here were used to store. Yeah, I was looking at that Egyptian uh, wing right there. The wings right there. Y'all just look, not even dealing with it. That thing could probably do a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Raphael Jude Markham. Huh. Whoa. An amulet. What is it? Don't open shit. An amulet. Just like the vampires were looking for. Put it on. showed me something. What did you see? Your vampire. Killing you? Killing me? Well, see, this is why you shouldn't touch shit that you don't know what the hell is. You know? But I don't know if that will happen like in real life. Stuff like that wouldn't happen in real life that I know of. <laughs> I don't know shit. <sighs> Still warm. Paperwork. Someone from the bank must tip them off. Diana did say they had people all over looking for them. Looks like they discovered that this Markham fellow kept a safety deposit box. According to this, they arranged mm. to have the branch closed so the boxes could be transferred. What's this? A key. Looks like some kind of magic lock pick. The sigils on the side can you can get through anything? Bank heisting vampires would make such a fantastic movie. Wait. Shit, I take that. What? She's just gonna put it back on the goddamn table. Talking about, bruh. She just came up on a. What if they need to get in something? In their line of work, they always gonna need to get in something. To the clubhouse from the Lawrence sewer system. If those sewers aren't warded or sigiled, then John's in trouble. John, it's Mary. Do you copy? You got Millie here, Mary. We copy you. What's going on? Use the wards that found plans to the clubhouse. They have a way to get past the wards and the sigils. How? How? There's a weak point in the 
You may not have much time. You have to get out of there now. Nope. There, there. What was that? <laughs> uh, I'd say that's our time running out. Sounds like we got company. Shit. Run. Nope. Access blocked. No can do. We're gonna need some place inside that's safe. Where are you guys now? Locker room. What the? I'm looking. I'm looking. There. There's a vault below you. One level down. Okay, head down there and lock yourself inside. How the fuck you know they ain't down there though? Mom, go. I'll buy you time. Look, and get yourself killed in the process. Don't do what you always do. Not today. The vault! Come on! Closing, closing, closing! Say the wire needs an upgrade. She was right. All right, come on. Until then, let's see if I can shed some light on this dump. Man. water okay done get inside mayor I'll take care of our uninvited guests holy water hair commercial worked in Barstow <laughs> last chance to leave Bobos <laughs> I knew it Limping. I, I'm gonna be limping. There we go. John, what is it? This is exact. This is exactly where you die. This is it. The room where I die. Shouldn't never moved. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mary. There you go. There you go. Why the hell were you crying? <laughs> okay, Mary. She lightweight more badass than her children, bruh. What you mean? There's gotta be something in here. A weapon. A way out. There's nothing else in here. Except for that. Wait, what are you thinking? Remember when you told me that fate is what you make it? Well, I have an idea, but um, you're really, really gonna hate it. Yeah, I see. Uh oh. Ow. There you are. Done! 
Chain. No. I told you, little friend. Nothing can stop fate. Ouch. You're next. See, told you. man's blood. Sean knew it was the only way to weaken him. What did he do? What he always does. Something stupid. Kill you? Are you insane? I told you you weren't gonna like it. And I not only hate it, I refuse to do it. I'm Hear not... me out, Mom. In my vision, I saw that vampire bite me in the neck. He saw the exact same thing. The only thing is, neither one of us got to see the full context. So what do you mean, context? Remember what we read? Okay, dead man's blood. It can, it can stun a vampire, right? So if I'm already dead, Gee. when he bites me, it'll weaken him long enough for you to get John. out of here alive. And if Mary gets okay. back here with everybody else, you guys can restart my heart. But what if they don't? You, it's not like you had it's a vision not ideal, of that. Mom. But we don't have a choice. We're out of time. We have no other options. I thought they was gonna have like, he was gonna do what, uh, I, I can't remember who did it. I think it was Dean. He drank a scotch with like dragon ash or whatever or something like that. Just, just hear me out. A vampire's gonna come in here, and he's gonna come for me first. And that'll give you enough time to get out of here alive. Yeah, this is me or you. My fate's already sealed, but yours isn't. You can survive. I just need you to trust me. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna kill you twice. Okay. No more feelings. Ready? No, let's do it. Yeah. See, I thought they had, you know, they had some shit, bruh. Bruh, y'all have the electricity. Use it again. Just picky. One, two, three. Ain't gonna hide that shit no more, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah. See, I knew it, and I've been telling her this whole time. I told you. 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 Get that knife out of my face. I told, I told you first. <laughs> Don't ever do that to me again. He, he might have to do it once or more twice. Once or more. Once or more? That's, this just don't sound right. Just, you know, it was... Um, listen, um, I'm, I'm sorry I never called you after our date. <laughs> Don't tell me the big bad hunter got scared. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
idea. But, um, I'm not afraid to ask you on a second date tonight. Look, everybody's falling in love, except me. I'll have to check my It's alright, I'm gonna fall in love soon. I'll let you know if I'm free. I, I deserve that. <laughs> The hell? Why ain't Sam and Dean didn't get that? How's your hand? Oh, I guess once I met my faith, the burn marks went away. Uh huh. Won't even tempt it, were you? Hell no. Pilot would have showed her up on a goddamn ceiling on fire. Not how I saw my day going. Mm, me neither. But it turned out great, so I'll take it. So now that everyone knows, you're more hiding, right? Yeah, the cat is definitely out of the bag. Unless she did touch that motherfucker and did show her. But we're stronger together with no secrets. And I don't mind getting out of the moment, thinking about the future. As long as I know you're in the picture. Oh, he's in the picture. Hope looks good on you, Campbell. He's in the picture. <laughs> okay, so how about dinner and a movie? But it's your treat since you scared the hell out of me. Well, that depends. Do you have a dime that I could borrow? Oh, my God. I owe you an apology. I just, I needed to see for myself if what you were saying was true. So what'd you find out? You were right. Something's off about Mary Campbell. Breaking and entering, theft, a suspiciously dismissed aggravated assault. Oh. Way too many close calls. Her and her friends are up to something. What? It's just the way you're talking about this. Like it's all Mary's fault and John has nothing to do with what they're wrapped up in. Why? You still have feelings for him? If John's done something wrong, I will make sure he's held to account. Just like everybody else. What about you? You still haven't explained your whole angle in this. Is this pure journalism or something personal? I just want to figure out what the hell is going on in Lawrence, Kansas, Officer Donnelly. Call me Betty. Let's get to the bar, Rufus. Ah, hell. The Akrita. The Akrita. It's amazing how I remember that name, the Akrita. It's just funny I remember that out of all of that shit. But yeah, I like that. I like this. It's nice. I mean, come on, dude. This is supernatural stuff, you know. It's not much to say. I mean, I knew what was going to happen. I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. But I knew he was going to kill himself. And he was going to um, bite him. And then he was... Uh, I knew that part. I just didn't know the electric, electric part. So, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um... Yeah, I hope y'all like the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode or tell me what you want me to watch next. And if you want to support the channel, please join the Patreon. All my four reactions are going to be uploaded there. And as always, thanks for watching. Wait, deuces.